people, 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 people. Care pasa, suck pasa, what they do. Now the first thing that is popping in the news is about a little weasel. About a dirty pastor and his name is Oral Brighton. O.C. A.K.A. Bishop E. is 52 year old. Now people, when we talk about Bishop, we are speaking about a man that is well known in Kingston, Manchester, Clarendon, St. Mary, Westmoreland, and people, all of those places that he's been, he's left a trail, a trail of jumping over the fence of Pitney, church, sister, any and everybody, anything he can get a hold on, he is taking advantage of. He is taking advantage of the sisters in the church, everybody. Now, people, this man was married to a lady and their name is Caroline Ramdats. And people, he was giving her bun, left, right and center. And what is even worse, he was touching up them picnic. Now, people, this lady wants to have her voice be heard because she said that she's been in the situation for a very long time. And she put up with a whole bunch of S-H-I-T. So, people, I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to exactly what she has to say. And people, this is an exclusive. This is the wife, Caroline. So people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. This is the estranged wife of the gentleman now in question, Oral Britton, otherwise known as Bishop. To make it clear, he is not originally from Petersfield. But he recently moved to Petersfield after the police were hunting him down to answer to charges in Clarendon. Sexual assault, rape, etc. Charges in Clarendon. That's when he moved to Petersfield. But before that, he was living in Scarlet Hall, St. Anne. And before that... He was living in St. Anne, that's Tower Isles. And before that, I could go on and on. So, we got married in 2013. And between 2013 and 2019, we have moved to several different homes. We started a ministry in Three Hills, St. Mary. But previously, there were two other ministries, one in Westmoreland Farm District and one in Maypen Sugar Hill off Chapleton Road. I had some problems, really. When he wanted sisters, single sisters from the church to come home or to stay with us, over time and when I was off to work and my daughters were off to work they would be home by themselves there were times I get to understand well based on pictures that were sent to me with him and sisters at the beach sometimes in a group and sometimes by themselves and these are some of the questions that I had and concerns there were times I you know mentioned to him that he was too close to these sisters there were other problems I had when I go to church he would tell anybody whenever I get there to hand over the service to me and then he would be off in his office and these sisters would be summoned one after the other into his office and these were some concerns I had, but um, little did I know that things were happening behind my back. Or, I mean, to be honest with you, I did not expect some of these things that are basically coming out. Oh, no, I, 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 the, the strangest thing, and one of the charges that he's answering to in Maypen is really, I have three girls, none of them his and he started molesting one of them from age 11 
I remember there were days when she would cut herself. There were days when, you know, she would want to close her doors at night. And I would say no because, I mean, anything could happen to her. And I really didn't want not to be able to get through to her. And I did not know that I was actually leaving the doors open for him to take advantage of her. I I I went through a period where it was really sad when I found out all of these. I remember sisters came to stay with us. One in particular, she got shot and she stayed with us. And to find out that he was assaulting her with me being under the same roof and so i could mention quite a few from some i learned even before we got married and all of this but the real point that i really want to get across to you out there youtubers is the fact that there are sometimes as the wives of bishops and pastors and deacons, you name it, minister of religion. We tend to cover things up because we really want to keep the hat with the shoes matching in order to be on the platform all the time and to, to keep that lovely smile in order to be the powerful woman behind the, the, the minister's back. But then... There comes a time when we need to step back and analyze that there are other women and children out there that are suffering at the hands of these men. Let me say men because of my experience. And so women and children are hurting at the hands of these men. As a matter of fact, I now use a certain term to say dirty touch. Jamaican terms, dirty touch. And so these men are doing these things to these women and i mean over years they keep crying they these scars are there and they are suffering and, and and there's just no one to 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 answer to it because these men continue to live their lives with their families happily not understanding the toll it's taking on women and children and so i have started two years ago a project as a matter of fact i started writing a book entitled as i see it through the eyes of the pastor's wife the many different things that as a as a as a as a, as a wife of a bishop i had to face and, and and i had to keep the smiles nevertheless and so i took it on myself that going forward i need to stand up not really to keep the smile behind this minister of religion, but to stand up and stand out for what is right. To know that these things are happening and it's affecting women and children deeply. And we need to stand up and put a stop to it. I don't know. I, I preached a message some years ago. Daniel stands alone. I am willing to stand up as the only wife of a bishop or a pastor or a deacon or you name it that is willing to say i have known of these cases and enough is enough we will no longer smile knowing that all these things are happening and accept it and so last year we came out and we did a uh, 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 a standoff at the, the church in Maypen, the branch in Maypen, and we were saying no more, no more, no more. It is about time women stand up and not be afraid of these men who would bully us or, you know, want to embarrass us or threaten us for that matter to say that they can do this or that with us. And we accept what they have to offer. It is about time, especially women, standing up to show their girls that, listen, man, we don't need to accept a dirty touch, a rape, an, an assault, or anything of this kind from any one of these men. 
but we will defend the right, stand up for the right, declare the right, so that later on, our girls will say, at least we did something for them. These women will say, somebody stood in the gap for me, and I really appreciate it. And so, this is not really to tear him down, but to stand up to let others know that, listen, I am one who will stand up and stand out. I get to understand now that they are having a go fund for him, which I believe it's a sham because the charge that was placed against him in Maypen, he got bail on the basis that he was not well. And before that, I knew nothing of him with a heart condition. Not to mention, they are saying it's because he's not well. They are doing the go for. No, no, no. Let's take it. He has a charge in Maypen. He's now in jail in St. Mary. And he still has to answer to charge in Clarendon. On the same issue of rape, sexual assault, etc. So women, it is nice to know that somebody women in saint mary are standing up women in clarendon are standing up and i am sure there are women out there who know him and knows the kind of person that he is yes he will pray for you and if he lays his hand on the dead the dead will raise but i'm saying apart from that there are some people who have been given gifts from god and they will continue to use their gifts to solicit money from people. And I am sure he is one of them. So ladies, let us stand up and stand out. Let us declare what is right in the sight of God. And let us no longer be afraid to stand up because we don't want to be called out from in the church and we don't want anyone to point on us whenever we move about. No, no, no. That's not the point. It is more painful when we are behind the scene, crying our pillows wet, than to know that these men are getting away with this. So, I hope as you listen, you are one of them that will stand out, not necessarily because you were touched by oral Britain, but because you have the experience from some minister of religion and he's out there smiling happily with his wife but you are there suffering stand up and stand out make that report go to your nearest police station and make that report you will never regret it believe you me and may i add i too am one of them i'm one of the survivor so do what you need to do may god bless you in jesus name now, people, first thing first, not only is this man doing what he's doing as a man of the cloth. Now, when he's caught in his acts, he is trying to pull off a next scam. And what scam am I speaking about? It is said, based on what the wife is saying, members of the congregation, meaning that his little females, they are... They want to set up a GoFund or they have set up a GoFund. So basically, the wife is saying that this is some sort of scam. This is some sort of sham. And what they are doing, they are acting as if the pastor don't know anything about it. However, people, we know that he is the mastermind more than likely. So people, at the end of the day, we have a man that uses the church. And then he is hunted by the popo for all sorts of charges as it pertains to jumping over a fence from A to Z. This man was using the family house as a dolly house. We saw that he was a party animal. We saw that he was having all sorts of affair with all sorts of people from the church, out of the church, including but not limited to his own picnic. So people, big old man, liquor picnic, everybody he is basically taking advantage of. However, we have to ask, as it pertains to this wife, did she turn a blind eye? Was this wife naive or did she actually see everything? However, she was mute. 
was she walking around with her eyes wide shut. Now people, what is even worse is that this man is also touching up him own 11 year old in Pitney of him and his wife when she was 11 and whenever the child would tell the mother that she does not want to have her door open the mother would say no leave it open not knowing that she was basically afraid of this Mr. Bishop so people we say that this man is taking advantage of everybody we are talking about the church sister them we are talking about everybody he is having all sorts of a fear under the roof of his wife and kids and what is even worse is that this man was willing to take advantage of a sister that was conned up and staying with them. He was also touching up that sister. So people at the end of the day we see that the wife is finally taking a stand. But people like them say it is better late than never. However people is it? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Now people like I said this lady was willing to send me this voice note so therefore... I have to give credit where credit is due. However, people, let me know and let her know what you think about this whole situation in the comment section. And I am sure that she is going to read. However, people, keep it respectful. Don't be disrespectful. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.